Hi everyone, I'm making a video today to show you how you can find RSS feeds that you can use for different purposes and how you can store them on your computer to access them for later. These are a great way that I think um, can really help education in the future and that's what I'm going to find and store mine for. So the first thing you'll want to do is um, um, download the RSS aggregator. Um, if you go to um, this web link that shows right here at the top of the page and click that then it'll actually put this little box right here in your toolbar um, that you can access all of your feeds from later so you, that's the first thing you'll want to do is to go to this link so I'll leave it there you can type that in or go to that link or search RSS aggregator and that should um, be able to add that to your Chrome after you've done that um, you'll just simply want to go to a search um, engine in Google and type in what you're looking for. So I typed in RSS feeds education. If you're looking for, you know, auto repair, you type in RSS feed auto repair. But I want feeds on education. And so once you type that in, then you're going to get a whole list of ideas here. And I just went to the most popular one here, RSS feeds education week. If you just click that open, now it's going to give you a whole variety of topics here that you can select. And so if you're looking for something specific in education, you can click and like that. Um, I was looking for um, education technology, um, using technology in education. So those are the kinds I was driven to click. But there's just a whole wide variety um, if you're looking for um, you know, ways to do reading or mathematics or anything like that. Um, you can just see the variety goes down. You can actually even go down to states and find out education news by state. And you can um, store these so you're getting up-to-date articles on all the topics that you're interested in. So after you've clicked open one of these, we'll just click open one of these really fast and add it to my... Um, Thing. Let's look at after school programs. I don't know. I haven't been in there yet. So um, once you click on a topic you want, you are going to be looking for this view feed XML. And the, um, it will need to have this on there. And then you just click that open. And then it will take you to this page that will tell you a little bit more about the kind of posts that are on this. So now if you get to a point where you're like, ah, that wasn't what I was thinking, you can just go out of this. But let's just say you like this and this is something you want to read some of these articles or subscri subscribe to this. You just hit subscribe. And now it just goes to your feed. You'll hear that nice little ding ding sound. And it goes to your feed. And, you, and then you have a list of all of your feed topics over here. And then it'll tell you all the articles. So um, that's the one we just opened today. But if you want to go to one like eLearning that I um, downloaded earlier today, then it will bring you to all of those topics. And then each time I want to go to these, um, let's just say I'm over here working on a paper and all of a sudden I want to go to my RSS feeds. I just click on this little link up here in my toolbar and I can go right back to this um, and find the articles or research articles that might be helping me with what I want to do today. So hope you enjoyed this video presentation. Thank you.